Hello there, everyone, and welcome back to Old World Blues. I'm your host, Mr. Mokola, and right now, we've got a mess on screen. We've got some comments to go through as well, but it's July 20th, 2282, and we've managed to hold off the enemy hordes for a while. We've killed off 168,000 manpower people from the Provisional Republic of Texas while taking 13,000 in a row. Now, as you can see on screen, the Texas Economic Union, or Texan Economic Union, is at war with us, the Bayou Motors, Pain of Rock, and Pecos Colony. Um, but, uh, yeah, actually, I was not prepared for them to invade Pecos Colony, because I had a center power over here as well. Um, but, yeah, overall, I think the biggest thing is I rushed more divisions since I last saw you guys. I kind of replayed some things, rushed out more divisions, and just try to get as much equipment as possible. Uh, as you can tell, we're doing very, very well in equipment. The biggest thing is for the AI, for the enemies, just to keep attacking until they lose, uh, guns, so. But, I do want to address, actually, we did lose the Alamo, though. Well, unfortunately, we did lose the Alamo, so... Remember the Alamo, everyone. Remember the Alamo, because it's not very buoyant right now. As you can see, they're just... There's a lot of green. Red's not good. And we've been pushed out of Texas somewhat. <laughs> it's not good. But my next goal is to core this piece of territory with 300 political power. It's not, is it really worth it? And actually, somewhat just because we don't get defense on core territory here. So, coring this is going to be of the utmost importance. Other than that, I, that, I've just been sitting here just trying to kill off enemies as much as possible. So, we do have a potentially saving grace here. Um, with the thing called the command modules. Oh, there we go. Now we get some, hopefully, some more bonuses here. Uh, that'll be so good to have. Hopefully some bonuses. Because right now we get plus 7.9% defense on core territory, which is going to be, going to be good, good, good. And Moctezuma's... Oh, that is not good. If they demand territory from us, we'll probably just give it to them. Uh, but yeah. And the game's running just a little bit more slowly, but whatever. Okay, so we need to talk about these command modules. So, if we come over here. When we have it unlocked, ooh, please don't lose, please don't lose. Um, we basically get a power armor division template that I've actually thrown on with uh, anti tank already because we need piercing no matter what. That this is a division that you get that is not special forces, even though the command power module thing uh, it doesn't have a name, which is weird, but it'll get fleshed out eventually later on, which will be totally fine. But let's compare it to our normal power armor division. So. We have Brother Paladins, and exactly the same thing, except they're, you know, normal power armor with anti-tank as well, just to make it equal and similar. So overall, they have almost 80 organization, while the Sentinels have 62. That's, so overall, like, I'm just going to spoil this for you, the Sentinel detachments are just a little bit, not too much weaker, but a little bit weaker than the Brotherhood Paladins. Over here, 171, 181, Sentinel detachments, 145, 155, um, Breakthrough's 108 for the Sentinels, while it's 112, which is almost exactly the same. The, Regular power armor has 268 for defense, while it's 251. Supply is actually the exact same, so there's no issues with supply. So, overall, like, we can make our entire army out of Sentinel detachments here. And that would still be good, because if you compare them to our normal heavy patrol infantry, which has anti-tank, fire teams, demos, recon. So, if we look at this, they have 57 organization, while the Sentinels, they have 62. They have more organization. Heavy patrol, their infantry, uses 310 manpower. Uh, as well, but these guys do only use 55 manpower, so this is a, this is pretty good. The recovery rate is roughly half that, which is not good, but still, still. And 145, 155 versus 195, so these guys do have a little bit more soft attack, a little more hard attack, just because we threw other stuff on here. Defense is 241 compared to 251. Breakthrough is 108 compared to infantry, which is 73. So breakthrough is a little bit better for the Sentinels. We might just go ahead and just use sentinels for the entire army maybe that's not a good idea but i'm, I'm really tempted just because it saves so much of manpower and I, I actually did raise our conscription level we're now senior knights which did hurt, hurt our defense just a little bit so that was um, the main comments from yesterday that basically the these things reduce manpower usage which is good even though we still have twenty-eight thousand manpower currently um being used and we're still losing a lot of money which is not very good not very good we could do that Oh, that could help us out just a little bit, maybe. Maybe they just help us a little bit. Quarterly profit's not very good. It's going to hurt us overall as well. I, Yeah, currently, I don't like this, that we can't assimilate people normally. We've assimilated 83, almost 84,000 people, and it's still not enough. That's insane. Uh, missile launchers would be good and all, but aren't really super necessary right now. Uh, let's see. Command modules, anything else? I mean, we're getting a lot of all this stuff done, as you can see right now. We might actually start doing some more research stuff. For, or, no, focus free stuff, just because we can. And I'm doing nuclear jet fires, look at some nuclear attack power planes, which would be super, super good. But right now, they're at 180,000. And you can just tell, look at just see. They are just attacking, attacking, attacking. And we're holding off fairly well. So I should have actually had our soldiers come to Gloria first, which I did core, by the way, so that we would still have 
some better or lower surrender progress for us because we get more cores. And, because Laura is actually probably quite a nice VP. 30, 30, that's pretty nice. 30 VP points is pretty good. But yeah, I'm tempted to maybe change. Because I already changed these guys over. I might change you guys over as well. Because we do have enough of this. But the big question is, do we get the benefits of these divisions with our land doctrine. That is the most important piece of information that we really need to talk about here. Uh, come on. So, oh, there you go. Zach's technology. So I went down purity because we get more defense. Overall, like this side, 5%, 5%, plus 5%. And that's the entire army, which should include uh, the, the modules, right? The Sentinel Automated Power Armor Unit does get a bonus to this. So going down this way will work. Because if you go down here, you get more recon, which is nice and all. And you do get 5% more, more defense. But infantry, I don't think the Sentinels are considered infantry, are they? The Sentinels are not considered infantry at all. So that's important to remember. As well as heavy special forces, they do get this bonus as well. So they can get 5% here, but not 5% there. And they get 5% there. So 10% on this side, and you could have got recon. Versus 5% plus 5% plus 5... Well, you get 10%, same amount of defense. But still get some more soft attack here. So, eh, overall... 5% uh, soft attack, 10% soft attack, uh, well actually that's, that's infantry, so no that doesn't apply at all, yeah that doesn't apply, so 5%, yeah, so you have 5% soft attack, plus 5% is 10%, versus 16% over here, so, eh, overall it's not bad, you do get some more breakthroughs, so, it, so it, you do get the bonuses, so that's good to know, that's good to be aware of, alright, just, I wanted to make sure you guys knew that, just in case you try this yourself, but yeah, this is a, it's a giant mess. A, just a gigantic manifest destiny. All right, what are they doing with that? Um, let's see. Manifest destinies over here. Just five goals times less core cost. It is what it is. That's fine. I forget exactly what it was. Let's see how much manpower or what do they got? Show bang. They're running out of manpower, which is good because they deserve to run out of manpower. Honestly, they have some stuff down here, and eventually they did stop attacking at one point because they just ran out of guns. But let's take a look if they have any more guns left. They got plenty of anti tank. Plenty, 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 plenty. Dynamite is not looking good. They have no saws. Melee equipment is not looking good. Even crowd control is not looking good as well. Pipe guns, it's just not looking good. Because the attacks, they just keep going and going and going and going. So, rushing out divisions was probably probably the most important thing that we had to do here. So, I'd love to invest stimulus. And that's why I kind of want to build some cities here so we can build up glory. Because the trade node is not bad to have. Oh, it's already level 10. Well, okay, we need to build up a trade node somewhere else. Uh, let's grab that one. Trade node. Which one was a trade node? Houston, obviously, we'll get that one back. Once you kill all those guys off, that'll be good. Is anyone anything else down here? Trade node? Monterey. Oh, we do have Monterey. That's good. I'm glad we took out Monterey. That's important. Monterey. There we go. Uh, uh, that was closer to getting done first. That's fine. Cool. Overall, though, once we get back up here, we can core more stuff. That'd be very good. It looks like they've definitely slowed down their attacks. I would like to core more territory over here. And they're even struggling against Pecos Colony, too, though, which is nice. At this point, I think we should just keep going. Also, I did do a few more of these, like, draft results. For Hood is conquered, taking its hours now. Its secrets unlocked. Who could have imagined we would have ever achieved this? But we did. Long live the Brotherhood. Long live the Elder. And enter the corpse. Corpus Christi, pre-war military installation, filled with who knows what. Ancient secrets to discover. Perhaps the power to rule the seas. None shall be allowed to wield this for the good of humanity. No one but us, of course. Awesome, awesome. Now we'll do... Uh, we'll give that one, why not? And I also did this one. Uh... After our, all of our preparations, the corpse now looms before us. The stench of death and mutation echoes from these ruins, disturbing even our most veteran paladins. Though we have taken it apart, unlocked its secrets. Ancient naval documents, blueprints, and the knowledge to build ships stronger, better, and faster than ever before, which is nice. And I did old world boons. So tonight, as we break bread together, let us forge together something new. Something strong, something we can be proud of. Something we can build upon. We'll preserve what's best of what's come before and use it. And one day, we will reclaim what was lost. Let us forge a brotherhood of seal. From High Elder Roger Maxon. Very good. And we should have treasures of the old world, which is very nice. Now we have to delve deeper, but we need to do season scribes with the air as a battlefield. Before the Great War, the most powerful nations understood that the sky itself was a battlefield. The high cost of an effective air force is unsustainable for many groups today, but not for us. And it looks like we are still winning. It's nice to win, but they have taken 200,000 casualties so far. And actually, if song for the front, if you like to read about that, please go ahead. I'm going to grab the PP because we need that. We really, really need more PP. Artillery, uh, I, did I, I think I chose that one before, but I still want to core more stuff. Uh, the coring stuff isn't really super important. Once we get up here, so we can core more stuff, that'd be very good. Uh, let's 
let's see. Over here. They're, they're definitely struggling over here, which I do like to see. I hope you like to see as well. Plane-wise, we're doing... Okay. Not great. But okay. And we'll see anywhere we have planes up here. And we have maxed out air XP already, which is just insane, but that's alright. And then, unusual takeaways. It may seem odd that we believe the Codex doctrines are applicable to air warfare, yet we recognize the Codex's ideas as the underlying truths to all warfare, no matter where it may take place. So, not bad. <clears throat> they're even attacking over here. Now it looks like their attacks have really, really stopped. How much manpower do they have left? The highest branch of the Texas tree, 256. 22,000, they might be mobilizing some more. Oh. They might be mobilizing some more, maybe. But as long as they keep attacking, we'll feel pretty good about this. And do we have this cord? We that is our capital over here, maybe? Let's take a look. Hondo, well, it's one of our core states, so fighting into here should technically be okay for us. I wonder if we could actually assault them going this way. Oh, I know guys have just so many upgrades. Ice pilot promoted, very nice, very nice. So, uh, I'm gonna wait for other stuff. No, oh, wait, hold on. We do have an Urban Soul Specialist. Nice. Very good. And we did win there. Look at that. They didn't like that. They really didn't like that. So the biggest thing here is probably to make some sort of encirclements, maybe. Make sure they like, don't move in. That'd be good. You don't need to go there. Well, technically, we, we technically do because of these guys, but whatever. And you guys have been doing okay. Augustus Garnett's been doing all right. And nuclear jet fighters are good. That's eh, a little bit ahead of time, but that's A-okay with us. Jet fighters? How about we get some really good jet fighters? Nice. More air attack, more range, which is important. Reliability is not too bad. There you go. Make some very good jet fighters. And they're still attacking, which is nice. Infrastructure prioritization, that's fine. Ontological bombing is fine as well. Not really a big concern of mine right now. Uh, over here would be good to attack, but we need to wait for these divisions to move and get, get out of here. We definitely need to get uh, really TAA Estate back. We really need that one for more money. Because that's just not good. Eh, we can assimilate some more people. 15%. Uh, we get 9,000 more refugees assimilated. Eh, I'm going to wait till this, the stability penalty is a little worse. And then we'll do eyes in the sky. Although not very fast, blimps are easy to manufacture and have plenty of uses. That's a lie. Exploration of the practicality could lead to critical battlefield innovations. They have plenty of uses, but they're not easy to manufacture. At least the last time I said, I uh, looked at this. Maybe I'm wrong now, but... Uh, Last time I remember using blimps, it did not go very well for us. Production cost, 90. 90 versus 30. You can make three triplane attackers compared to one combat blimp. Ah. And yeah, they're very versatile, but... It's, uh, it's three times the cost. Is that worth it? At least to me, no, it's not. And I did throw like some of our power armor in here as well. Just for the normal line. Just hold in like key areas. Oh, they didn't even take this tile. Look at that. I left that open there for them. Because defending that and this tile is a pain in the butt. Unusual take... Oh, okay, so I need to talk about this as well. Okay, so Kaza's Legion uh, is dead. The, they went to war with Las Granjas, as you can see, but then the NCR got involved, and then Ouroboros got involved, and apparently the Cyphers have done very, very well. Look at that. And let's see. We have the Daughters of Ekate, and we have the Great Federation down here. So, yeah, this has been a very, very weird campaign on Historical. We have the Mormon Alliance over here, Children of the Gate, Northern League, and Cascadia's in the north. So... Very weird. Very weird. We've only killed off how many? 213,000? Let's see, they still have... Yep, they're definitely mobilizing more. Oh my goodness, Cho Bang. Oh, why Cho Bang? Why? Day bombings? I love day bombings. Well, not on my people. But on the enemies, yes. Definitely so. And after that, can we do... We need just one of these. Nice, we get more research speed. Our research has progressed exponentially since we split from the Texans. Nearly all of our scribes are now better innovators, each capable of advancing our technology much further than before, which is great. Great, 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 great. And we're going to fight for core territory. We need it back. Kill them all off. New Vegas declared one of those guys. All right. Send them in if you want. We'll kill them off as fast and as hard as possible. I wonder if I could just convert you four. Or just convert like three here. Because we get armor on these divisions, which is very nice. Don't get me wrong. I love the armor. And where are you guys at? Oh, you guys are over here. Oh, then they have enough divisions. What if we did that immediately? Because we have enough of this stuff. So we save manpower too, which is nice. Very important. Save manpower. And these don't. These are not special forces, so... 
Oh, they did get attacked. Look at that. Oh, oh. can they pierce us? Ah, uh, somewhat. Well, yeah, somewhat. That's not good, but whatever. The Alamo. We gotta remember the Alamo. Oh my goodness. Kill, 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 kill. Eyes in the sky are good. Go ahead and do that too. And season scribes. Very nice. So we're going to keep delving down deeper into that one place. Uh, we can close that one. Nice. Very, very good. Political actions. Uh, we can do... Eh, close that one for now. We can do that stuff. We're not going to do that. Uh, civvies are nice. More multi-population. What's our multi-population like? 66. Not great. And they're still attacking with a, a lot of vigor. I mean, 220,000. That's pretty darn nice, I'd say. Uh, yeah, they've definitely been stopped in their tracks. Yeah, we could do that, but even then, they're not attacking that harshly. I'm going to wait to use those, uh, just because I want to max that out with air XP, so we're going to wait and keep this here first. Nice. Better radar is nice as well. We're done with this entire page. And this side, let's go with that one, because we can. Build it up, build it up, build it up, up, up. Get some planes around here, too. And... You get to get a few more military factories, even though we're kind of maxed out already. Alright. This is a good tower to attack, maybe. Make them pay. Because they will pay in blood. Where, son, where are you going? The broken... Oh. The broken masks. Huh. Moctezuma's doing very well for himself. Yeah, it's okay that we're not getting attacked by any, too many other people right now, too. They've lost 225,000. Non-ontological bombing. Let time go on. Doesn't really matter to me at this point. We could core more tiles. Uh, I do want to, like, as we take more territory, I want to core these places up here as fast as possible. And core them almost immediately if we possibly can. Ooh, we can make a potential encirclement here. That'd be so good to do. Because they're attacking right there. We can take this tile out and circle, like, what? We just encircle them. Nice. Very nice. Eight divisions, the first of many to just completely die. But delve deeper. All those secrets lay bare before us. Fort Hood and the USSA headquarters and eight Houston and Corpus Christi naval base explored. There must be more hidden between the lines. Nice. I'm kind of surprised they're not attacking us here more. So we converted all these guys over, and it seems like it's doing okay for us. Not great, but doing okay. We've only killed 232,000. That's all. Ooh, I want the Alamo back, but I want to make another encirclement. We can't afford to make any more divisions, unfortunately. If we attack here, it's probably not going to go super well. We could try it. Yeah, just keep attacking us, guys. We're going to... Oh, we actually got them. If we get to San Marcos, that'd be really, really good. They're still struggling over here, which is awesome, awesome, awesome. I, oh, man. Like I said in the last video, I, I've been to San Marcos, but it's been a very long time since I've been there. It's been a very, 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 very long time. Yep, they're still mobilizing. Not by much, but they're still mobilizing. Go ahead and grab that one, too. It's fine. I don't really care about the penalty to that. Because we're starting to run out of things at research anyway, so... Uh, we could probably attack here, too. Sit in the armor. How are you guys doing? Uh, actually, they can probably pierce us, right? Yep, they can pierce one of our divisions, which is motorized. That's fine. Or not motorized. It's the armored. Oh, crap. If they want the territory, I don't mind giving it to them. This could be a good time to do this, too. Alright, so you guys, shore up your line a little bit. There you go. You know what? Goodbye. Because I'm, I'm thinking about the cost right now. That helped out slightly. <laughs> Very slightly. Because I want to attack around here and get rid of these guys. I want to break into here. So, you guys go up there, and you guys, all about you, and you, go right there. You should be able to break over there so we can get over here and circle these guys over here. That is a lay plan. Oh, we have research. It's fine. Infantry stuff. Yes. More max entrenchment would be very good. Um, yeah, we could do that. They're still attacking us, though. Uh, we get over here, though, but that wouldn't really help us out that much, really. I guess we could extend the line a little bit more. It says we can win on a general attack. I kind of don't believe them, though. I kind of don't. How are our spies doing? Relatively okay. Boom, boom. 
When you come up there, when you come up here as well. Uh, Fort Hood, I guess, maybe? Come on, guys, you've got to win over here. There's just so many enemies. I could probably push up through here, though. Alright, and then... Send you two as well. Getting a bunch of air XP every single day. Yeah, now it says we can't do that well. So I don't want to attack when we're not going to do that well over here. I mean, they're still attacking, which is great and all, but still. Okay, so we should be able to do some more stuff here, maybe? Not yet, not yet. That's fine. Alright, delve deeper. And that is a 120... Oh, 120 day focus. Corporate leftovers? All these military compounds had something in common, something rather unusual. Or at least unusual if somebody would not know about the rapid military industrial complex present before the war. Still, why would an, emer an energy company be so interested in pre-war military bases? At this point in time, nobody can say what a research might bring, but who knows what treasures we might find? Very true. And we could definitely use more stability. Yeah, that war being sucks. Unassimilated refugees? I think we have enough people who could do that probably for now. Oh... You did get, we did get a bump in population too, so that's not terrible. We've assimilated over a hundred thousand people already. Absolutely nuts. Oh crap! Oh, uh, you know what? You can have it. There you go. I don't want to do that, but we even lost Monterey too, which is terrible. But I, we can't afford a war down there. We literally can't afford a war. We've got enough things going on right now, so this is one of the rare times where I will say you can have it for now. So at this point, we definitely got to push in. I don't want to push in, though. I really don't. I really don't. Can we actually push in at all? We... Some areas, yes. Maybe, yes. I don't think these guys can. Eugene Young? I don't think these guys def definitely probably cannot. Some of these areas, yes. Definitely yes in some of these areas. Oh, man. We might just be killing a lot of... Oh, they lost two more divisions. Oh, boy. This might be it. They've lost a quarter million almost. Come on. Come on. Come on. You guys got this. I don't want to be using just infantry for this, but it is what it is. If that's the case. We don't need to guard this area. There you go. Go to where you need to be, and then we'll attack. Basic generators are nice. We're launching this assault. We're not giving up now. If they're out of guns and such, they can't replace their lines. Are they doing... Oh, look at that. Are they... They're they not doing last stand. There's no way they're doing last stand. Yeah, they're definitely not. That's good. It's fine. Whatever. Give them five seconds before we start punching into them here. Even though it's probably a really bad idea. Okay, so you guys, screw it. You guys don't need to be here anymore. Uh, guards, you go there. Sentinels, where am I going to put you? Right there. We're moving in. We're going in. At least for now. Oh, that's not good either. Find them all, kill them all. We killed off another 11 divisions. Not bad, not bad. They're still attacking us as we're attacking them. Gotta love it. And we do hopefully have some radar down here too. They got some barrage balloons, but they're not going to stop our jet planes. But let's not forget this stuff as well. Jet attack planes, nuclear tower uh, jet planes. That would be good. Nice. And does it hurt anything else? It's all positive. Even more attack. Ground attack plus... Th oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, Mr. Krabs. That is nice. That is some good stuff. This is a gigantic grind fest. But we should have enough equipment to do this. Because we've scavenged a lot from them. Like a whole buttload. Hopefully it's a buttload. Uh, that sounds like a lot. I need you guys to f force it, but we don't have enough command power for this. TWA Estate, that'll be good to get that stuff back. Because then tomorrow we will probably finish off all of Mexico. Probably call it a campaign. Because this is just nuts. Basic smelteries are nice. Grab some of this too. I'm probably missing something here that I could probably do, do, do better, but whatever. Help them out. Help them out right here. Kill them off here or the estate. Come on. One of you guys have got to break. This one's got to break, right? Come on. Get in there. Get in there. So we can kill these 11 divisions off. There's a reason why I'm not even using these guys right now. Kill them off. Come on. You're almost in there. Oh, we got them. Begin attacking. Oh, they broke over here to glory. Oh, that is... Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Reynosa. Oh, that is not good. That is not good. We got Alamo back. Oh, we might have to give up that territory. I can't afford a war with them right now. We literally can't afford a war. Oh, we're getting your territory back, though. That's good. That is very good. Mm. Uh, 
Ooh, just keep going for now. Don't worry about it. These guys are actually not destroyed yet. We got that group back. We got TWA Estate, so we basically... That's good. That's really good. And actually, we did core these guys as well, so which means that... Uh, actually, we need to core these areas too. Oh, God, there's nothing here. Oh, we're probably going to stop the attack soon. Oh, that is not good. Can you guys do anything here? You might just be able to, yeah. Force it. Force them to die. Um, what we're going to do is... Oh, it's going to take so long to be able to core this stuff. Eh, some of us, maybe not so much. We have already called Gloria, so when we, they come back and attack us, I might be able to... We might be able to quickly justify it on Makuzuma. I think that would be for the best. I think we just have to give them the territory. Fine, take it. Wait, I just can't, we just can't afford the war. We just cannot afford another war here. These guys have got to die. Good, we've broken over. That's good, 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 good. Don't lose that area, though. Do not lose that tile. Break out accordingly. Break out accordingly. You guys gotta go. Go in. We've lost 15,000. We've killed off over a quarter million. This is not good. Can you please just kill them all off, please? Come on. These guys have almost been cut off. These guys are... Oh, my God. How many divisions I've left? Maybe we've killed off almost 50 here, which is awesome, awesome, awesome. We're gonna let them come in for a little bit first, maybe. Don't want to lose any more territory though. They, I don't think they can. Oh, these guys have been encircled, but they still get supplies probably through this area, which is not good. Keep them in place. Kill them off. Actually, screw it. I'm gonna take half of you guys. Take you out. Form a new army from you guys and put John Howard here and do that. That is so not good. You know, they're not that strong either, so that is good as well. Okay, we just overran a few more divisions. They got 203, 203. Circle Junction. I don't even know what's going on in Colorado anymore, and I don't really care, I'll be honest. Take off that little encirclement there, and then these guys will literally all die here. Literally all die because we cannot keep you guys here at all. We need you to keep fighting and attacking. Kill them all. Seriously, just go. Kill them off now. Now. Good, good. Kill them, kill them, kill them, kill them. I don't care if they if Pecos gets called territory or not. I, I really don't care. Good. We got them. Okay, get out of here. I need you guys to come over here and plug up this hole. We're lucky that they didn't alien bait us. Look at all this. D oh, draft the results. Meticulous research, cross-referencing, and correlating of dozens of data snippets has given us some insight. All these military bases we have visited had direct access to something called Poseidonet. Some form of internal communications network spanning the entirety of the pre-war U.S. relating to Poseidon Energy. A massive pre-war conglomerate of dozens of different companies, primarily in the energy sector. Even better, we believe that with all the pieces we have found, we might be able to gain access to this particularly operational, partially operational network. Let us proceed with caution. Good. And corporate leftovers. We... Oh... Tiny clues here and there, paired with the genius and knowledge of our scribes gained during numerous expeditions, we present a fully-fledged pre-war Poseidon IFF. Their systems will be ours. See us as our friends. For them, we are Enclave. Ooh. How many... Hold on. Before we kill them all off. That is 13. 13 plus... Plus... 7 is 20. So I can add sometimes... <gasps> we got Gloria back for now. We still have that. Oh, wait. How's money looking? Oh, God. We have no one guarding the Alamo, <laughs> Oh no 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 no! Oh, we can close that out. We can close that out. We can close that out. Probably. Actually, we need more stability, real realistically. So there you go. Go 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 go! Kill them all off! Attack 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 attack! These guys are doing a stupendous job. They have 140 divisions left. Kill them all! Kill every last one of them. Uh, that's a little bit too out of time for me. Uh, not too bad. Oh, they're definitely attacking. <laughs> Defend the Alamo again, <laughs> for what the third time this campaign? Fourth time? I can't remember. Drop tanks are nice. How about we get some better drop tanks? Oh, no, we already got the better drop tanks. Uh, yeah, that stuff is all okay. Vehicles. I kind of did want to use robots, but at this point with Sentinels, I might just keep doing Sentinel stuff. So, we'll see what happens. Push, 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 push. And we will, like, divide these guys up a little bit better, too. So, money-wise, how are we doing? 
My, only minus 24. Even after we don't have glory here, so that's not bad. That's not bad. They have 129. Not bad, not bad, not bad. All right, so at this point, I think we're doing very, very well. But we need to do this as well. There you go. We might have lost a few divisions too, so. Um, you guys do that. They did take out Lubbock. Oh, they didn't take out the... Oh, the Painted Rock. Oh, they're still fighting Painted Rock. Thank God they're fighting Painted Rock. That is really good for us. All right, so you guys do that. Well, you all come over here and do this. And I will destroy Moctezuma too. Because the crap they pulled with wanting their territory back, they, their claim territory. Yeah, no thanks, man. Actually, I, I should have poured this. I really should have poured this. Uh, do we pour any of this? No, we don't. That sucks. They're going to be asking for this later. Also, that was a comment saying that I didn't really need to take out the Rio Grande. I did have to, because, or at least I did, maybe didn't have to, but you didn't see it uh, on screen. But I have to redo sometimes. When I do fade and fade outs, I sometimes have to redo things. So you don't always see the first time I put things on the channel. So, like, off screen, they literally attacked me. So, at the same time as the Brotherhood. So that's why I attacked them beforehand, just because they might attack us again. I, I couldn't remember, but, like, just in case. Because they did attack me off screen. It's because I was like, oh, go back, going back to the drawing board now. So, it is what it is. I only took them out because we had to. At least in my mind, we had to. All right, compliance. We need to core more stuff. Oh, we're actually pushing through. Thank God. Thank God. All right, so we can abandon this. You, you guys just go right there. That's fine. Oh, actually, you know, you guys are good. Yeah, you guys are good. Head on in. Oh, I think we've got him this time. Well, uh, sort of. Oh. All right, so now we can take another one off. That's fine. Take 17. There you go. You guys come down here. God, they just, they spread out like cancer, man. They're so cancerous. Go, 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 go. Get the power armor to move, 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 move. How many divisions they've left? Almost less than 100. Almost less than 100. They've lost a third of a million in the wasteland. Oh, my goodness. We're going to need more energy cells. I just realized that. Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, I love Moctezuma for now. There we go. Cut our losses. Um, yeah, do that one. We can, we can. Oh, we got more money, too. Look at that. <gasps> We're almost minus five. Oh, that's so good. Oh, you guys... They have literally encircled themselves, so that's good. You know, somewhat, because they still have a port, but whatever. I think we've got him. I think we've got him. Poseidon IFF. The Enclave, the foe that brought us almost to extinction before the NCR wiped them out back west. We hid as best as we could to avoid the wrath unhinged, without morals, and seeing themselves the successor to the pre-war U.S. of A. government. It seems that Poseidon Energy was deeply intertwined with this pre-war shadow government consisting of industrialists, high-ranking officials, and even some presidents. Purely a contingency to continue governments, they said, in the case of catastrophe, but a record still different story. They tried to use a virus to eradicate everyone on the continent, to repopulate with whomever they managed to store away in secret bunkers. A genocide, one that would have reduced humanity's gene pool so drastically we might as well have surrendered and become inbreds. Regard regardless of the thought, the Enclave used PoseidonNet extensively from automated security, communications, and many other secret things. We could even trick their defenses to believe that we are them with what our scribes and knights have created. A fully functional IFF module we, with it, we are Enclave, at least to those who didn't ask too many questions. We are Enclave if it suits us. Nice. Oh. Oh, we need to do this stuff too, so we will. Uh, Texaco oil rig. Sometime when the night is clear... And the moon is being reflected upon the waves. We can see those blinking lights on the horizon. Out there, like a bulwark between the waves, let us hail, let us invite. Would I recommend you play Alamo Chapter to fight Texas? Probably not. Probably not. At least against Texas. Anyone else? Yeah, probably, but still. There you go. They all know what to do now. That's good. But yeah, it's, it's, it's not easy. It's just, it's, just, it's just really not easy. But it's manageable. It is definitely manageable, and we're doing slightly better on energy cells now. Which is probably a bad idea to convert all of our divisions to sentinels. But we still might do that, especially once we get to looks layer back. Actually, let's come back over here and do energy stuff. Oh, we did, we did everything here. Almost. Brook housing, why not? Oh. This is not looking too good now, is it? No, it's not. Did I lose divisions here? I might have. 95 div eh, we might have, actually. Oh, mine. Oh, shnikes. Snikerinos. Wowzers and bowsers. We gotta deal with that too, but overall, not too bad. But they finally took out Bayou Motors, which means we go get them for free. Very nice. Did y'all win here? Alright, so y'all are almost done. Please just take the rest of these guys out. That's good. And you should be done. There you go. Cool. Head them back down here and take them all out and kill them all off. Are you guys done? No, you ain't. No, you ain't. 
We're going straight to Dallas and Fort Worth. Oh, man, this has been nuts. Oh, Pain Rock is... Well, shnikes. As soon as we leave, they die. That's fine with us. We don't have to share spoils of the war. Nice. Good, 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 good. And we got Houston back, too. Oh, we got Houston back. Oh, yes. Oh, crap. Oh, <laughs> Moctezuma, no. No, Moctezuma. Oh, we got to go, 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 go. Please, 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 please. How many days? Please tell me it's like 100 days. Please tell me it's like 100 days. Okay, it is. It is. We got time. We got time. We can We can, We can. can do well against these guys. They'll probably naval invade us a whole bunch, but whatever. It doesn't matter to me. Go, 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 go. Oh my god, this has been a this has been a crazy episode. But send it west? Oh, we can't do one yet. We'll probably do Death from Above. It's important to remember that our Air Force exists to support our army. Investment in planes designed for that purpose will hopefully do something. Oh my apologies about this. We oh my goodness. I can't believe we did it. Oh, satellite? Oh, I guess that's fine. My apologies about that, but purpose ooh, for that purpose will greatly aid our future battles. Bad words. Lots and lots of bad words, but we did it, my friends. We had to give up our own Mexican territories, except for Metro Chico. That's very weird. Um, I don't want them to get raided. Oh, man, this has been... I made 9,000... We've got 9,000 robots. Jesus. Oh, man. Oh, man. we got plenty of this stuff, too. No, they're unique. I don't always get to use them. We might as well try to use them as best we can. I don't want to convert everyone immediately... And your brotherhood rejects. You guys go right there. That's fine. So you guys go back. You guys go back. You six. Um, you're kind of already there. There you go. This is going to be crazy. Okay, bird you to them, maybe. We'll try that. And over here, you'll guard the waterways. So we did it. You, as I can see, showed you about. We can take them out. It's not easy, but it's definitely possible to take out. The Texan Brotherhood. Would I recommend it? Probably not. Probably not. <laughs> Probably not. Boy, I want four here, if we can. And we're fighting back to get Reynosa. Go figure. We take out one bloody giant to take out the other bloody giant. Is Linus? Linus does not exist, does he? No. This, this is the weird. This is probably one of the weirdest campaigns I've had, especially regarding Colorado and Texas. Very, very weird. Uh, Air Doctrine will keep doing that. That's fine. And since we're here, oh, that's still bad, still bad. We're going to core a lot of places, just straight up core them. I get defense over here if we core this area, but is it worth it? 261, uh, is this not, oh, we need to core this one first, probably. 300, it called back, oh boy. We could core it, uh, I want to core more of Texas, though. It called back, out there in those hostile waters, standing like a bulwark against a backdrop of an endless ocean, or rather dinky and derelict oil rig, most likely having long exhausted it, all of its resources. Yet it seems to be still alive, and after we pinged it, or pinged it, we know the truth. Our hails were soon answered. We found a bunch of pre-war zombies housed within the place. They told us the entire story without even asking, and they off then offered to come over for a talk. They had met with other survivors before, but they seemed far less polite than we did, calling themselves the enclave those survivors did. Fighting erupted and the survivors were no more, but the technology remained. Advanced flying vertical takeoff vehicles. Alongside schematics for them, we will be ready we will we will be ready once those ghouls want to set foot on Texas soil. Let's take the birds and leave the Oh goodness and leave the ghouls. Yes, Daddy. Yes. Yes. Yes, please. Oh my goodness. Wait, where is it? Do we get vertebrates? Oh wait, no, we need to research them. We need to research them. Alright, not bad. Not bad. Brick housing is good. Great. Just in time. Transports, yes, please. Alright, what's next? Send it west. Always false. Lalok, Harbinger of Armageddon. We need the great silo. Death from above. We need to go. Oh, we can do that once we do that. All the stuff down there, too. Um, they're going to attack us very harshly, probably. So let's make sure we got some air bases here, too. That'd be good. Very good. Get some radar down here just in case. That'd be very nice. Awesome. Yeah, we can finish all the radar up there. That's fine. Whatever. We need more civvies, of course, but that's fine. And money-wise, we're still not good. We're, we got the cannery, which is nice. Oh, it's already pretty high up, huh? That's good. Grain solicitations. Eh, we can kind of wait. We got more money now, which is awesome, 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 awesome. Not bad. Does it help us at all? No, it made things worse. Okay, then. Hmm. Well, we're going to need more trade nodes then. 
I wish I recorded that stuff before we gave it up, though. Basic power plants will be great. Uh, grab some of that, too. Not bad. And they can go to war with us probably relatively soon, actually, now. 70 days is not too bad. But then we'll do off-screen, probably, Aces in her sleeve. Fighter planes offer the best opportunity for the best pilots to shine. Their maneuverability and air combat focus allow for massive skill gaps between two pilots, making them... Oh, crap. Extensive training all the more crucial. Crap. Crap. Are you kidding me? Uh, rapid de re deployment cargo. Or de re rapid deployment doctrine. Victory in battle often requires rapid reinforcements. Transport technology will allow for supplies and troops to quickly reach your targets, overpowering slower enemy resistance. Not bad. Not bad. And the Paladin's skin. Every Paladin with power armor is a Paladin safe from harm. The safety of our soldiers has always been a tough concern. Encouraging further research into power armor safety measures will improve their su survivability manifold, as well as specialized refinements. The bulky nature of power armor creates a never-ending arms risk between ourselves and our enemies. While they struggle to create weapons strong enough to pierce our armor, we strive to outdo their most lethal rounds. Circuit Breakers, of course, we have here, and then Mutant Menace. I think we're going to do this. I might not have, but that's pretty much it for the Focus Tree. Which, actually, I think we will probably end it here. What territory do they want from us? Um, yeah. You know what? They can have it for now. One, two, three. That's fine. They can have it. Just because. That means we're going to kill them next episode. But, there'll be probably one more episode after this. Oh, maybe a little bit shorter. But, if you enjoyed the video, please do consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow when we take out Oklahoma and pretty much all of Mexico. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.